Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bia and you are officially watching my first YouTube video. I decided to create this channel to share with you all my passion for makeup. I have been passionate for makeup for so many years and I find YouTube to be a great platform for all of us to share our passions. So I am really excited. As you can probably tell, English isn't really my first language. I'm actually from Portugal, so my first language is Portuguese. I am sorry if my accent isn't really the best or if I make any mistakes. And if I do make mistakes, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can learn and improve in order to provide you with better content. One more thing that I wanted to say is that I'm doing this channel in English just because I don't want to restrict my audience to Portuguese speaking countries. So for my first video, I've decided to teach you guys how I do this makeup look. I love this look, it's actually my go-to look. I just love how radiant and shiny and overall healthy my skin looks. So yeah, this video will be mainly focused on how I do my skin. In case you're interested, just keep on watching. Sorry for interrupting, but by the time that I finished doing my makeup look, the lighting in my room wasn't so good, so I decided to insert here an Instagram story that I posted with the sun directly hitting my face and then two photos of me just in natural light so that you could actually see how my makeup turned out. Now, without makeup, let's get started. I've already done my brows off camera because I'm still trying to find a way of doing them and making them look you know, slightly even because they are so uneven, I can even begin to describe. And I will also apply all of my skincare products, so now I'll just have to prime and do my makeup. In case you want to see my skincare routine for that kind of glowy skin, even without makeup, let me know in the comments down below so that I can do a video dedicated to it. So before I prime my skin, whenever I'm trying to achieve that really dewy skin, I love applying MAC Stroke Cream. This is actually the small version of it and the color that I use and that I really love is the pink light. Uh, since I have a really oily T-zone, I only apply it in the highest points of my face, except for my nose, that's a, a no-go for me. So. As you can see, it gives you like that really pretty shine. So basically, I like to apply it wherever I'm going to apply my highlighter. I uh, now move on to primer. The one that I'll be using is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. I love this product for a dewy finish because, again, it gives you like that really nice radiance. I apply this all over my skin. So before I move on to foundation, there are two things that I'm going to do. The first one is applying this color correcting fluid from naked skin on my under eye because I have like some really dark circles and this really helps with it. I just apply this wherever I need it and I try to apply the smallest amount possible and especially in the under eye area you don't want to apply too much product because it's an area that creases really easily and, and where you notice when you have a really big amount of makeup. To blend it, I use a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. Please always damp your beauty blender whenever you're using it. I really love this product. I've had it for a long time and it blends really well. And I really like the formula. I don't know, it just feels really comfortable and it feels like I'm not wearing anything, but it makes a huge difference in the end result. I've told you that I was going to do two things before I applied my foundation. And the second one is just to apply a little bit of concealer in this pimple because it's really, really red and I don't have like the color correcting fluid in the right shade. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer to give it some extra coverage that it really needs, as you can probably see. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I've been getting like some really bad acne from wearing a mask. I don't know, my skin is not approving it. My skin hates the mask as much as I do, but you know, it's necessary, so it's fine. For foundation, I love using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I don't know why every single product has such a huge name. It's really hard for me to say it just at once. But yeah, this is the foundation, you probably know it, it's really well known. To apply the foundation, first I'll be using a regular foundation brush. This is actually from Zoeva, it's the buffer brush. 
I start by applying most of the product in the center and then I spread it outward. I found this foundation really lightweight and it's really easy to build it if you want a little bit more coverage. I know that the color of my foundation might seem really off when I apply it in my forehead, but it's not, trust me. It's just my forehead that tends to get a lot more tan than the rest of my face. So now that I've applied my foundation with my brush, there's something that I always love to do to make my foundation look seamless and really even. And that is going in with a beauty blender and just tapping all over my face just to make sure that there's no marks from the bristles from the brush or no excess product in any area of my face. Now that I've done all of my foundation, I'm just going to apply the concealer in the areas that I want to highlight. I'm just applying this under my eyes. And by the way, I'm using the NARS Radiance Concealer in the color Custard. I really love this concealer. And again, I'm blending it with my damn beauty blender. I spend a long time doing this, but it's worth it in the end. I also like to apply a little bit on my chin. I also love to apply it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit in here. I just keep it really light in there. Just blending it in with my beauty blender. When I'm doing my makeup off camera, I always do my brows last because I'm a disaster and I always go over them with the beauty blender or the foundation brush. So I just prefer to do them last. That's it for concealer. To contour and give my skin a little bit of color, I love to use the Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream from Huda Beauty. The shade that I'll be using is light. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is the shade. I love applying this with the Real Technique Sculpting Brush. And I pick some product and I always do this. So I basically just tap it in the back of my hand to prevent me from applying too much product on my skin. I love to apply little by little and build it up until I have the end result that I want. I love to contour my forehead as well because, as I told you, I feel like it's a little bit too large. So it helps it photograph and seem a little bit smaller. As you can see, I applied like, the smallest amount of product. But I really prefer doing it like this because as i've told you this prevents me from applying way too much product and it's really like this product is great it's super blendable but when you have too much product it's always a challenge so i like to just go light hand with it i spend a, a really long time blending products on my face and it's you know you do what you gotta do then i also love to apply in here to make my face look a little bit more slim. Besides still getting used to the idea of talking to a camera, I'm still getting used to the idea of talking and applying makeup at the same time. Because whenever I'm applying makeup, you can't even talk to me because I, I won't even be able to process any sort of information. So if sometimes I stop or start to apply makeup really slowly, it's just because I'm trying to multitask in here. But I just think that it's one of those things that come with practice. So just give me some time and I'll be doing this perfectly. So next I'll be contouring my nose. And now I'll just go over the bridge of my nose with a little bit more concealer. So I just applied a little bit more concealer on the side. 
So I've just finished my contour. So now I'm just picking two shades from the Endless Orgasm palette from NARS. This is a palette with blushes and highlighters, as you can probably see, but it's a cream formula. This product was so hard to work with in the beginning because I didn't really know how to apply the shades because they are a thick cream. But then I've decided to give my contour brush a try. So now what I always do is I remove the excess from this brush, which I'm about to do, and then I use this to apply the blush along my contour. So I have just removed the excess product from this brush and now I'm picking these two shades right above my contour. So that's it for my cream blush. Now I'm moving on to powders. So to set my makeup, my favorite powder is from Laura Mercier. This is the most famous powder probably. To apply it, I'll be using this brush. I love this brush so much. This is actually from Primark. I bought it like two years ago and it's the tapered blush brush. They probably don't sell it anymore, but it was actually a really good brush, you know, especially coming from Primark. I just pick some product and I remove the excess and then I just apply it wherever I need to set my makeup. I always set my T-zone no matter what to prevent it from getting really, really oily and messy. And then I always go like this with pretty much no product on the brush. I'm actually going to do my eyes last, but I'm going to do them off camera because they're not the highlight of this video but if you want me to recreate some look from my instagram or anything on my eyes just let me know and i'll do it i was actually supposed to do my eyes when i did my brows but i was just not feeling it and because i was a little bit nervous to start filming i just decided to you know just skip it and do it last so now I'm just going to leave the powder in there for a little bit, like two or three minutes. I don't leave it for much longer because I don't want it to look super dry or anything. Now to set my contour, I'm just going to use the Hula from Benefit. If I was just bronzing my face, I would use like a more dense brush like this from Morphe. But since I'm applying it over cream and I really don't want it to get super patchy or, you know, just I don't want my skin to pick too much pigment, I'm just going to use this brush from Japanese. As you can see, it's really fluffy, not, not super dense. So it will just apply a light layer of bronzer. As you can probably see, I went a little bit too harsh with my foundation brush, so my pimple, you know, is peeking through. I just apply it super light. I can barely feel the brush on my skin. Just make sure that everything looks even. In the end, I think I'll fix my eyebrows a little bit because as I told you, I always go over it with, when I'm applying my foundation. I just can't help it. Setting my contour over here. And I always apply bronzer in here. So now I feel like my setting powder has been in here for enough time. So I'm just going to remove it with the brush that I've used to apply my setting powder. Yes, I really like the result. <laughs> So as I told you, I was going to set my cream blush with my powder blush. The one that I'll be using is Orgasm from NARS. This is my favorite blush. I have never tried such a great formula or tried any shade that I loved more than this one. So no matter how many blushes I might have, I'm always going to use this one. So to apply blush, I always smile so that I can see like the cheeks. I don't know, I just feel like it gives you such a youthful look. I love it. So I just apply it like this, right over the cream. 
and even if you go over the, the bronzer it's fine it just makes everything look so seamless so something that I forgot to do that I always do is I pick a little bit of the hula bronzer and I apply it right underneath my lower lip this also makes the lips look a little bit fuller so I just went back a few steps and fixed my brows a little bit now for the final step I'll be applying my highlighter from Becca this is in the shade Moonstone I love this shade and to apply it I'll just be using a Morphe brush I am sorry but this brush has no number on it I bought these kind of brushes from a collection they used to have it, it was a kit with the face brushes so I'm just picking some products and I'll just be applying in here since my pimple is peeking through I'm just keeping the highlighter away from it basically I always kind of draw a three when applying my highlighter I just do this basically not necessarily like the whole movement but I do this and then I'll apply it a little bit over the brow I feel like it gives the brow a little bit of a lift and then I apply a little bit in here I try not to go too high in my forehead because I mean I did contour to prevent it from looking too large a little bit on the chin just to make it look really radiant and then I apply it on the bridge of my nose with my Kat Von D brush this is the shade and light brush and I always use this tip to apply it so I pick a little bit of product I also apply highlighter on my cupid's bow so guys I'll just do my eyes off camera and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I've just finished my eyes I did something really simple just to go with the dewy finish I also applied some falsies, so now I'm just going to apply a fixing spray. This is All Nighter from Urban Decay, it's really famous. I just let it dry. Since this is a, a dewy makeup look, something that I consider crucial to this kind of look is to use a gloss. The one that I love to use is from Fenty, this is in the shade Sweet Mouth it's actually my favorite gloss from them but first i always line my lips and most of the times i apply a matte lipstick just to give it a, an even color but honestly if i'm in a rush i'll just apply the gloss and leave the house and it looks good too so to line my lips i use the mac pencil i cannot pronounce this shade so i'll just leave the name down below next i'll be going in with Ludwig from Kat Von D. I love this shade. Both the shade of the pencil and the shade of the lipstick are really close to my lips shade, so you will probably notice that there isn't much of a difference. As I told you, I just wanted to make my lips look a little bit more even. That is it for lipstick. I really love this shade and this shade actually makes my teeth look so much brighter so I really like it. And then, I am sorry guys but I cannot stand having lipstick in here so what I do is I pick some product with my finger and then I just tap it on my lips. So that is it for this makeup look, I hope you liked it and please give me your feedback down below and I'm sorry if I was a little bit nervous <laughs> and if you could see that but it's my first video so I'm still getting used to it and as I've told you English is not my first language so it's a little bit of a challenge for me to just do like a whole video and speaking English for a very long time 
I promise you guys that I'll improve and please don't forget to give me your feedback in the comments down below. I'll be reading all of it and I swear to you that I will try to improve as much as I possibly can. Thank you and in case you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video.